Are you looking to know the difference between a secure email gateway and an API email security tool? Well, here's what you need to know. Email security protects against malware and phishing, and has been a challenge for organizations since the 1990s. As email became more commonplace for office workers, it also became the primary tool for attackers across the world to harvest user credentials and deliver malware. This resulted in devastating financial consequences for lots of organizations, and this video aims to clarify the differences between a secure email gateway and an API email security tool. So, how are API email security tools configured to protect users? The architecture is centered directly around your email host, and the host is the place where emails are sent. This can be Microsoft Exchange or Google Mail, and these are the two most common. By simply installing the API security tool into either Google Mail or the Exchange, the application uses these platforms' APIs as an integration to view users' emails and interact with the mail, such as stopping them. API email security tools bring value to an organization very quickly due to their integrations natively with the email host, such as Microsoft Exchange. It's important to understand the architecture before you understand the benefits. Let's have a look at some of them. API email security tools don't need DNS entries like MX records, which often take time and effort to set up. Because these tools avoid complex DNS configurations, the installation process is pretty quick and easy. Usually, setting up these tools only requires granting basic permissions, such as access to read and write to users' inboxes. And once these permissions are given, the tool can start processing emails almost immediately, and the results show up in the dashboard pretty quickly. This easy installation process allows organizations to quickly deploy and try out multiple API email security solutions without long setup times. And it also gives them the flexibility to test different tools to see which one works best for their needs. This rapid deployment is especially useful in environments where adapting to new threats quickly is crucial. It helps IT teams keep strong email security with minimal disruptions to daily operations and end users. A second and important benefit of API email security tools is their native integrations. You may have noticed in the architecture, there's a heavy reliance on the email host, such as Office 365 Exchange, and it's needed for the full functionality of an API email gateway, which allows these tools to extend their coverage to the inbox, and not just from an email perspective, but it can integrate further into the actual user's mailbox. This level of integration offers significant benefits, like the ability to detect if an email account has been compromised by leveraging the contextual information about the user, such as their role or status in the organization, and that includes VIP users, such as executive management. An in-depth understanding of users' identity and activity across the broader platform, such as Office 365, helps in responding to potential threats. And it does this by looking at the graph API logs across the platform, so it can piece all of the puzzles together with further context. I think there are some great benefits with API email security tools, but like any tool, there are some downsides. Firstly, and most importantly, Microsoft does not have an SLA on their Graph API. This means that API calls from your tool may be throttled or limited. Microsoft could even decide tomorrow to change the API capabilities, which could remove functions from API email gateway tools or render them useless. This could be a potential security concern and impact for your business if you have one of these inside your organization. The second instance that could put users at risk is the email client on a user's laptop or device. The end user may be using an Outlook thick client, which syncs emails from the Microsoft Exchange to their Outlook application, which is typically instantaneous. But if you follow a series of unfortunate events, it could cause problems. Let's take a look at a very specific scenario. Karen is performing her duties at Organization X, and an email hits the Exchange and into her inbox before the API tool has a chance to block that bad email. All of a sudden, Karen has internet issues, and that blocks the email client from syncing to the exchange, resulting in the malicious email remaining in her inbox. Even though your API gateway has technically removed it from the exchange, Karen hasn't been able to sync her Outlook back up there, and now Karen has the opportunity to interact with a malicious item such as phishing or malware in her inbox. Great, now you're an expert in API email security tools. So let's move to the more traditional approach to email security. A secure email gateway, or an inline gateway, is the traditional method to protect against malware, phishing, and spam. The architecture to set up secure email gateways is inline, similar to a firewall. Instead of sending your internet traffic solely to this device, emails instead are routed directly to the secure email gateway, where mail is inspected for phishing, malware, and spam. You configure a secure email gateway by changing the mail exchanger, or MX records, to the gateway. When an outsider sends mail to your email address over the internet, a DNS lookup is performed, and your MX record is returned 
and the mail is sent to the secure email gateway before being forwarded to the email host, which the most common again being Microsoft or Google Mail. This is a really simple architecture and it's actually been used since the first spam filters were built. In those days, typically a secure email gateway was a physical on-premise device, but now it's typically hosted in the cloud. The first benefit is that these gateways capture both inbound and outbound mail. This means not only could you benefit from spam protection from outsiders sending into the organization, potentially you could block emails going out of the organization too. This leads down the path of data loss prevention tools, which could be a whole nother video. And I think you'll understand why this is a benefit when we do a comparison to the API email security tools. Another benefit to the inline approach to email security is that emails never reach the inbox if the gateway decides to stop a malicious or phishing email. Because the gateway is in line, the email stops before it hits the exchange or the email host. The last benefit that I wanted to talk about also is related to the architecture of the inline approach. When a mail reaches the gateway, it can hold onto this mail item for as long as it likes. During the time it stops at the gateway, many forms of analysis can be performed, like sandboxing or link checking. A sandbox is a traditional yet effective scanning process to identify if a link or attachment has malicious behavior or signatures that are exploited when opening those links or attachments. As I've already said, no tool is perfect, and there is a single main point of contention about the architecture of an email security gateway that I consider a downside. In the case of a mail gateway, the only real pain can be the disruptive inline approach. To move from one gateway to the other, the MX records need to be changed from your old email gateway to the new email gateway. And that sounds pretty simple, right? Well, it technically is, but here are some real life considerations I've found being in industry. Let's imagine you work for company X and it sends and receives 10,000 emails a day all over offices all over the world and they use the same company address, for example, at techwincyber.com. Any downtime for emails could drastically affect the office worker's day-to-day -day operations. When moving the DNS records, specifically the MX records, it should be expected that it can take anywhere between 24 to 48 hours to propagate all around the world. And while these records are being propagated, it's possible that sending and receiving mail could be met with some rejections because the mail won't know where the destination gateway is. Of course, you'd want to do this during an outage window, but working across multiple time zones can make this complicated. In my experience, it can only take a few minutes for the DNS records to complete their propagation to all servers. But for a large organization, it could be seen as a risk to implementing an inline gateway. So which one should you buy? A secure email gateway or an API email security tool? And the answer is, if you can, you should get both at the same time. The secure email gateway will stop emails coming into the organization and do what it needs to do at this level. And then if it misses anything, the API email security tool can work at an exchange level to capture the rest. Some of these tools, depending on the products, are better at behavioral email security. Some of them are better at the traditional methods like link locking and attachment scanning. So if you can benefit from both of those capabilities, why not? So now that we've looked at each one in silo and we've observed what the optimal and ideal setup is, Let's look at some of the comparisons, the pros and cons we've talked about in this video, directly compared to each product. Number one, secure email gateways catch mail before reaching the inbox, whereas an API email gateway will only action mail once it reaches the exchange, i.e. the mailbox. Number two, API email security tools are much simpler to install. If you opt for a secure email gateway, expect a project to ensue for configuration. Number three, the API email security tool will normally be integrated with a host. Gateways can have these integrations as well, but they're typically not as native as the API tools. Number four, secure email gateways are inline, which allows them to stop outbound emails. API solutions cannot stop outbound emails. When an outbound email is visible to an API tool, it's already been sent. This is because the API tool reads the mailbox, so only when an item is in the sent item will it then get read by the API tool. Number five, API tools typically don't use sandboxing as a method to understand if an email is malicious. If this is a requirement for your tool, a gateway might be a better option. If you made it this far into the video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. It really does help. I hope this video made you understand the difference between API email security tools and secure email gateways. If you need some more information or you want some product comparisons, I can probably help with that as well. So feel free to either leave a comment or add me on LinkedIn and I might be able to help.